Randy to that you should have won that. Tough game, tough game, uh, difficult conditions, tricky pitch. Um, we probably had the better of it, I would have thought. Um, but uh, I think they'll be happy with a point, and I'm not happy, but we'll take a point and move on to the next. Yeah, they probably deserved the point the way they defended. Yeah, they defended well, they got some big lads, and they defended well. And we caused them a few problems early on in the first half, but then we didn't really utilise our, our extra man in midfield to move the ball like we have been doing. But, you know. Um, the pitch and the conditions obviously uh, made it a little bit tricky to do that but I can't fault the effort, the desire to try and get in there and try and score and, and we had a couple of good chances at the end, Dan's header the keeper made a good save from so a bit disappointed the lads have got it in there but we're still unbeaten, still a good run and we go on to the next. Yeah and Fleetwood have won today either. Yeah so they said, I don't know about that but yeah hey and nobody's going to win just win every game and go on so I think for me it's the momentum of just maintaining this unbeaten run and, and continue on what we've been doing and you're not going to win every game like we said and I'm pleased that they're disappointed because if they weren't then uh, then we've got a problem but uh, it's another clean sheet, it's a record and sometimes you have to do that, you have to dig in and just get clean sheets and move on to the next and that's what I've had to do. Yeah, snatched at one or two chances particularly near the end. Yeah, a couple, a couple. Um, just a bit behind the lads, I think, and the, the passes into him. I put one in Toll's pass, just a bit behind him. Dan's into Spades, he was a bit behind him as well. Um, but yeah, I think just the, the little bit of quality in the final third, we just didn't maybe, maybe have that today. But we were saying set piece is key, you know, can we get a set piece? And we had a couple of chances from set pieces. I thought the ref was a bit pernickety on a few. He's given free kicks. I thought Kreitz was up to the skis, was all over Kreitz on one of them, and he's given it the opposite way to what I thought. So, a bit mad. But hey, there's some good things, some bad things. We'll have a look at it on the way back. We've got a trip back and uh, and move on and, and looking forward to Darlington. And it might just be the point that is enough for you at the end of the season. Hey, I said that in there as well. You know, you might look back uh, March, April time and go, that was a good point, to be fair. You know, some teams have come down here already and, and done great here, but that the sun's out and the nice pitch and all that, it's, it's difficult when the wind's blowing and the pitch isn't great. Uh, and they're a tough side, you know, big, tough, solid team and difficult to break down. So um, we'll look at it and we'll go again, you know, on to the next one. Matthias Coco went off with an injury, is he okay for a win? Yeah, tight. Hammies everything a little bit, really. Um, yeah, we'll look at him, we'll treat him as much as we can and then hopefully get him right for uh, Wednesday. Uh, and uh, Wednesday now, immediately move on, long trip back home because before that. But uh, what are you looking forward to again? Yep, TV, good chance for the lads to get on telly and, and play and show what they can do. I think, um, I think that's suspended, you know, yeah, as yeah, you fifth. tell me. <laughs> <laughs> um, fifth and fouls as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Guys nodding, so yeah, that's two out straight away, so there's problems already. But. Um, Hey, it's a chance for other people to come in and do well. Thanks so much, Andy. Thanks so much.